Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out a great looking 1969 Mustang Mach 1. '69 is one of my favorite years of the Mustang. Got the little medallion there on the sail panels. And it seems like the '69s are really hard to come by. We don't get them, do we? Oh, um, I feel like we get more sevens and eights than we do '69s. Oh, definitely. I don't know why. We've had a lot of, uh, we've had some '69 convertibles as of late, but absolutely no fastbacks. Uh -oh. I mean, they're hard to find. And this one was done really nice. Um, 351 underneath the hood, but just popping the hood and looking at the bottom side tells you almost all you need to know about the about the paint on this car. Gorgeous, uh, show quality finish underneath the hood. It really does, Dalton. And it's been sitting out here for four hours, and it's just people go by. It's just got just a little light coat of dust on it, but it's gorgeous. Yeah, top of the inner fender is beautiful. The engine runs. I almost forgot it was running. It runs really nice and quiet. The guys did a good job tuning this one up. We got aluminum radiator. And a fan shroud's always nice to keep these things cool. Yep. For some reason, the Fords always run a little hot. Uh, power steering, no power brakes, but we do have disc on the front, Dalton. At least I think we do. Let me check. Those fenders are real nice. You know what? It does not have disc. No power brakes and drum brakes all the way around. And we did go through the uh, brakes on this one. Love the Mach 1 hood. That lines up good front to back. Front bumpers, beautiful headlights, all that look look new. Front shin spoiler looks good too. They must have replaced that recently because those get beat up pretty fast. Yeah. As soon as they go on a trailer, <laughs> they get messed up. Yep. But this one's got a little higher stance. I love the stance on this when you get around. Um, just a nice even gap. You're gonna see just a little bit of light right here. This just takes time and time to come off, Dalton. Because this is just a light buffing comp. On any time it gets on the stripes, it mm -hmm. just takes time. Yep. This takes you know a handful of washes and yeah. come off. Back of the hood lines up nice back there. Mach one scoop. Front fender's beautiful. Paint on it. Bottom of the door rocker. That all looks great. The door fits really well too. I'm excited to drive this one. I personally haven't drove it yet. Roof looks great. The sail panel area here is beautiful. That door fits perfect. It's like Chad mentioned, this, that white will come off with just some washes. Really straight up and down the sides. Back bumper looks new. Nice dual exhaust. We put the tips on it when it came in. Look at this. I mean, that just tells about the door. Absolutely perfect paint and the door jams. They did a great job. I like the burgundy interior too. It's, you don't see that very much. Most times everything's black, but I really like that burgundy. Door panel's excellent. It's got just enough black with it, don't it? Yeah, it does. Seat's in really nice shape. The Restorer, you know, painted this red around the gauges and stuff like that to match the interior. Seat back's got just a little, you know, die coming off that just a little bit, but fold down rear seat, that looks good. Got seat belts in the back. And the headliner is, is new. Has a few little wrinkles, you know, maybe it could be tightened up, but a lot of times when you're replacing a headliner, you know, it tends to have a few, few little wrinkles, but not too bad. If you want to get in here quick, looks like they did a new latch. It looks like we have a little uh, spring piece to put in here anytime you have the spoiler. Mm -hmm. There's always just a little prop rod for these. Also, it's got the folding rear seat. Yep. So. Looks like when they did it, like all the chrome bright work looks like that was all brand new. Again, not a trailer queen, but this is definitely what I classify as a, a car you can take to any show and be proud of. Oh, absolutely. Um, great looking Mach 1, and you just don't see them very often. Does the old man get up and down a little easier than you do? I think so. You weigh a little lighter. <laughs> <clears throat> Corner of the door fits great. There's really not much for, for chips that I've noticed to... 
to talk about. No, basically just that little bit of buffing it's compound. Kind of shine. Here's a s small chip right there. Yeah, it's a beautiful looking car. And both of the doors open and close so nice. Look at that. Get the door jam paints, excellent. Rust free doors. Mach 1 door panels and stuff are not cheap. -y. Parts for these are not cheap, especially interior parts. Interior door lights work on the um, deluxe door panels. Again, doors, fenders, everything appears to be taken off and painted and put back on. Even the strikers and stuff are all detailed before they're put on. So um, a little bit of wear here, just a little bit on this cord. Not bad, but uh, that's really the only wear I see on the seats. And that back seat looks good. You have the nice Mustang. I don't know if you pointed that out, but you have that really nice Mustang seat belts back there. <coughs> um, another thing is the wood grain match as well. Sometimes people put new pieces in and they get the wrong. There's like multiple wood grains you can mm -hmm. get. But the door wood grain matches really nicely with all the two pieces on the mm -hmm. dash as well. They painted that, that matches the, the red paint matches the burgundy interior good. Yeah, did a nice job. Kick panels are good. Let's kind of go ahead and see what works and don't, shall we? Mm -hmm. okay, keys on. Heater fan works on high. Medium. It might work on low, but can't hear. Can't hear it very good. That works on medium high for sure. Um, this is. That's that does not work. Yeah, I was gonna say I couldn't figure so out. So it'll to get need a new radio in it, but Lisa has the has the hole in there. Um, horn works. Gas gauge works as well. Starts easy and runs good. Um, I mentioned earlier that the dome lights on the doors work, yep, and the lights in. work down under the dash too. Okay. Um, back sail panels. Yes. Yep, they work. Too. Good. You mentioned the sail panel is just a little loose back there. It's just a common thing for them. I, you could take some Velcro or double-sided tape. It's just a bad design. It really was. I think the day's starting to catch up to us. It's been a busy day here this morning. Oh five. Gosh, I just yawned. So five cars this morning already on Monday. It's insane. There's our hood light. Mm -hmm. Right and I didn't side. think I seen the other one working, but I see it is working mm -hmm. now. It's just kind of dim. Yeah, hard to tell. It's right out. <coughs> it's got the remote mirror, and that works good over here on the driver's side. It's um, been a while since I've been in a 69 Mustang. Wipers are two speed, and they work good, and they park correctly. I think what else we got, Big D? Horn, we already did that. Um, amp gauge works. Uh, temp gauge and oil pressure, I'm not sure. I know the factory oil pressure gauge does not work. A lot of times there's a resistor in there or a circuit board. A lot of times there'll be just one little spot on the circuit board which will stop one of the things from working. But we'll see on the temp gauge if that works as we go. Sounds good. Really good sounding. It really does. Um, and this one, as far as I know, I got to do some checking on the Cleveland and, and uh, but it sure looks like a Windsor to me. Yep. It's got the six six bolts on the top of the head, top of the valve covers. We'll have that on our website. We get all the numbers off on yep. our check, and I just didn't check them before we came out to this one. But turn signal you hear is in the dash work too. Yeah, they do, don't they? Just putting in third. And go. That's just putting in third and going, all. Speedometer is accurate. Go ahead and roll the windows up. There we go. Um, speedometer shows we're doing about 50 mile an hour. It's probably 55. It's probably pretty accurate. Maybe two or three mile an hour off is all. Yep. Now we talked about this drum brakes. I just want to point that out. Brake stop, awesome. Um, you know, if you want to upgrade it to disc, feel free, go ahead. 
but we got a really nice pedal here on those drums. Yep. If you're someone that you know hasn't driven an old car in a while, you know, and, and you get this one, just know that for drum brakes, these are stopping really good. But they're not yeah. going to stop like your 2023 GMC. Um, but listen, um, well, I think better. They won't lock up. Yeah, that's true. There's your tranny downshifting. Temperature gauge works, Big D. Um, it's just starting to get in the middle here. We're just going to go through the gears once. Sure you do. Tell us maybe it wanted to get in our way. Hey, look at that, huh? That's snappy. She's snappy. Fun car. Shift down into third. Sounds good too. That's 70 mile an hour right there. It's awesome. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassic.com. There you go. Good car. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.